Yeah, good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Not going to be able to do much with the stroker build this weekend. Had a bit of a setback. Um, as you can see from the last video, I got all the pistons and crank and everything installed. Um, but after the video, I noticed that I put one of the pistons in wrong. Um, so I put it in backwards and basically I put the inlet side towards the exhaust side and the exhaust side towards the inlet side. Um, <clears throat> lucky enough, I've realised obviously before putting the engine back together. Um, so I had to take out that piston um, to spin it round and put it back in. But unfortunately, uh, the piston ring clamp I've got is a bit crap. And it caught one of the rings while reinstalling it. I don't know if you can see there. Um, just kind of bent, bent the end. So that's obviously no good. So that's back out now. Um, I have ordered a set of rings for that piston off my mate Alex at um, Hopwood Motorsport. He's going to get them sent down in the week. So next weekend um, I can get that piston back in. Hopefully midweek I'll probably get that piston back in. So then next Saturday then I can go along and, and continue with the build, get the head installed, um, get everything else built up as well. Um, I only build this on the weekend because I don't have much time during the week because obviously we are a working garage and we've got other stuff that we need doing as you can see there's a e36 drift car there that's having a v8 and um, show you in the corner there you go it's uh, covered in a few bumpers but that's going in um 330 90 box we're just waiting for a pmc adapter plate and that to come now and we can start getting that installed um we also <coughs> have a nice m50 e30 in um this is something that we're finishing off, making an exhaust for finishing all the wiring up, just basically getting it all tidied up for the customer. Uh, that's pretty much nearly ready now, that'll be going very soon. Um, little Mazda MX-5, which has been in for a welded diff. It's going to be a drift car for one of our customers. Um, 1.8 VVTi. Do like little go-karts to drive, seem alright. Um, back, <coughs> back to this engine anyway. Um, I'll just show you how I put this piston in wrong. I'll show you the, the arrows are very hard to see. Um, I knew which direction they were meant to go, and then I just, after putting in five, I just didn't realize and put one in backwards, basically. So I'll show you now. Right. This is the arrow. Well, that's actually the arrow. It's very, very hard to see, but all these arrows should point to the front of the block. And there's my missing piston. I see all the arrows should fit to the front of the block, um, and basically the arrow would be on the exhaust side. Uh, that's how it's easier to work them out. Um, so that's, that's basically it for this morning. As I said, it wasn't going to be a very long video, um, just an update on where we are with the stroker. As I said, hopefully now next week um, I'll get that all, uh, get the piston ring in, get that last piston installed, and hopefully get the head on, and then it'll be just a matter of pulling another engine out of a car I have out the back and taking all the ancillaries off that, putting them onto this engine and then it should be ready to go. So hopefully it'll only be another few episodes and then um, we'll have it built. Any questions or anything, just uh, drop me a message and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.